Good morning, everyone. Um, I will talk about the blue sole or solia solia. It's a flatfish that is gastronomically highly appreciated and has a high flesh quality and market value. Therefore, it is an interesting, uh, promising aquaculture candidate in Europe. But as for many other species, um, production is hampered by, amongst others, large larval uh, mortalities. Uh, these mortalities are often caused by bact bacterial infections, um, most of them being caused, uh, causing vibriosis, which is a disease um, caused by different vibrio species, most of the time vibrio angulare. In the past, um, we tried or they tried to uh, reduce these bacterial diseases by applying antibiotics. But as we all know, due to antibiotics resistance, there's a great need for alternative measurements to combat the disease. One of these measure measures being uh, the use of probiotics, which are already known for their protective potential against different pathogens. But uh, little is known about their mode of action. Furthermore, researchers around the world are more and more interested in the host microbe interactions um, between larvae and uh, different uh, pathogens um, to better understand pathogenicity and also to find new ways to combat the disease. In this respect, it would be very interesting to use uh, experimental uh, models in larval research in the first place to reduce the stochastic variation. Nevertheless, only a limited number of these models have been developed uh, in, the, in the past, most of them uh, being for large economic species like cod. Our research group was the first to develop such an experimental model for uh, Dover Sol. So in the first step, we uh, developed a new housing system um, to uh, hold these anim animals in our labs. So we disinfected the fertilized fish eggs with hydrogen peroxide to avoid bacterial overload. We placed these eggs in uh, glass bottles containing sterile uh, seawater and connected to an air pump. And two days post hatching, we placed the individual larvae in these 24 well plates, each well containing one individual. The water was exchanged every other day, and starting from six days post hatching, the larvae are fed at libitum with uh, sterile Artemia uh, As you can see here, uh, the survival rate was good, and um, also metamorphosis was completed in these larvae. Uh, we can hold them for at least 26 days in these systems. Um, and in the next step, we tried to find a pathogen that could uh, induce a mortality rate of around 50% in a stable way. So if we repeated the experiments a couple of times, then we wanted a pathogen that gave the same mortality every time to, in the next step, uh, find the different uh, solutions or mechanisms for this pathogen. We tested five different video species, all of them um, of different origins, um, and we added them uh, to the well water uh, at 10 days post hatching in a concentration between 10 to the 5th and 10 to the 7th chloroform units per ml. And then we monitored the mortality for 14 days. Of all these pathogens, only one of them gave a significant higher mortality rate. Only the Vibria angularum of R uh, gave a mortality rate of around 48% but added a concentration of 10 to the 7 colonial forming units per ml. If you repeated the experiment, the mortality rate remained around uh, 50%. So we have this housing model, and we have the pathogen, and we have uh, a larval mortality that is always more or less the same. Then we validate it by using uh, two probiotic candidates, added them via the water or via the food, in combination with our pathogen, but unfortunately, none of these probiotic candidates gave protection. But we do have um, a model that can be used in the future to uh, test different biotic and abiotic factors and their impact on the larva health. Um, it can be used to um, use uh, test probiotics, but also uh, prebiotics, um, the effect of algal toxins, and also abiotic factors like microplastics and PCBs. It can also be used as model to test uh, or to uh, illustrate the impact of Fibrio angularum on the sol larvae and the mechanisms that uh, are used by the uh, larvae and by the bacteria to interact. Um, 